Hello, and welcome to this ArtCam 2012 video tutorial highlighting the Contour Blend tool. We have been tasked with creating a sign for a private park, warning people to keep off the grass. The relief for the base of the sign has already been created. However, reliefs are also needed for the text, grass, and border of the sign. These can all be created using the Contour Blend tool. I have already produced vectors specifically for this purpose. First of all, let's create the relief for the border of the sign. Left click to select the border relief layer, and then right click on the light bulb for the sign vector layer. This displays only the vectors belonging to that specific vector layer. Next, select the Contour Blend tool. The Contour Blend tool allows a profile to be swept around a vector boundary. This profile will follow the shape of the boundary, so it can be used for intricate or complex patterns. This tutorial will explain the various settings and features available in the Contour Blend menu. For the sign border, we will use a selected vector side profile. Select the vector to the left of the sign and click Set Profile Vector. This means that this vector is the profile which will be swept around the border of the sign. Check Preserve Interior Corners, Override Height of Profile Vector and Override Width of Profile Vector. Enter the profile height to be 10 millimeters and the profile width to be 22 millimeters. Ensure the combine mode is set to add and then select both the inner and outer boundaries of the sign, followed by create shape. A border of 10 millimeter height has been created around the sign. The profile used was stretched to a width of 22 millimeters and then swept around the sign. We will also be using the Contour Blend tool for the next relief, so we can leave it open. In order to keep it out of the way, we can left click and drag it to the right hand side of the screen and release it when it is in the center square. This will attach it to the right hand menu. The tabs at the bottom can be used to switch between the project and contour blend menu. Next, we will create a relief for the text. Select the text relief layer and right click on the light bulb next to the text vector layer before switching back to the contour blend tool. Again, we will use a selected vector for this relief. So select it and click set profile vector. This time, we will not override the width of the profile vector as the boundary is the correct width. The profile height can be changed to 8 millimeters. Make sure that subtract is selected to make an engraving in the sign and then select the lettering before clicking create shape. A relief has now been created for the text. Finally, the grass relief layer must be created. Select the grass relief layer and then right click on the default layer which should be the first grass layer. Then you can change back to the Contour Blend tool. For the grass, a linear side profile will be used. Make sure that Preserve Interior Corners is selected as well as the Add Combine mode and an angle of 30 degrees has been entered. Then select the grass vectors and Create Shape. There is another vector layer of grass, so contours must be created for this layer as well. Switch back to the project menu and right click on Grass 2. Then select Contour Blend again and change the angle to 20 degrees. The combine mode we will use for this blend is Merge High. We do not want the new relief to be added on top of the other one, but rather 
only the highest relief to be shown. Finally, select the grass and then click Create Shape. If we toggle our vectors off, we can see our complete sign more clearly. The bottom of the grass does not look very realistic at the moment. This can be rectified using the Erase tool. Select the Erase tool from the menu and change its settings for the radius to be at around 250 pixels, the strength roughly 10% and the smoothness to be at 100%. Switch back to the project menu to make sure that the grass relief layer is selected and then while holding the left mouse button down sweep your mouse along the bottom of the grass relief. This has faded the chunky bottom of the grass so only the top strands are visible. This gives a more realistic look to the grass and the sign as a whole. Thank you for watching this ArtCam 2012 video tutorial. It's been a pleasure.